Hello, this is Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, and I'm going to take you five days into the future for our September 27th Palmer City Council meeting. So, for our meeting that day, we have the approval of the consent agenda, which includes uh, what they call uh, introduction for an ordinance number 22-008, adopting a new official zoning district map superseding the prior map adopted on December 12, 2017, in accordance with uh, Palmer Municipal Code 17-16.010 map replacement, and approval of the previous meeting minutes. And that's zoning map, well, I guess it's been five years or so. So we're updating the zoning map, so we'll officially have a zoning map that's current until we change something. Uh, then under communications and appearance, we have a proclamation for October 23rd to 31st as Ribbon, Red Ribbon Week. Um, that's uh, for uh, Ribbon, Red, Red Ribbon Week is a week that uh, people will be going into the schools and uh, talking about the dangers of drugs and, and avoiding drug use, etc. Uh, then there's a uh, manager's report, mayor's report, city clerk's report, city attorney's report. Um, there's actually an overview of the museum contract in the attorney's report. And in my mayor's report, I'm reminding people that it's election time in Palmer and there's early voting this week and next week, so September 19th through October 3rd, all the way up, including the Monday before October 4th, the election, you can vote early at Palmer City Hall. Just come in from 8 to 5. It's very simple. In fact, let me show you where it is. So here's Palmer City Hall. And there's early voting this week and next week, two weeks before the election. So, or if you have received an absentee ballot and want to fill it out, and bring it in. You can bring it in to the early voting people or after hours. There's a ballot drop box here on the side next to this selfie wall that says Palmer. Very beautiful. And then around the side, there is the fire station. And over to the city hall side where the city council chambers is, is where you can vote early. So there's a sign out there that mentions it's a polling place. And here in the council chambers is where early voting is. And, um, and then on election day, there's the two polling places. It's the same as last year. Uh, one of the precincts is in the assembly chambers at the borough assembly and the others at the borough gym just around the corner. So that's the same place it was the last couple times we had elections. And I mentioned also that I attended a Matsu Valley Drug Endangered Children's Multidisciplinary Team, which they kind of conveniently call the Matsu Valley DEC MDT. Anyway, other than just government with their acronyms, it's essentially a group of a lot of different agencies that's setting up and an example of what it is is for like the palmer police are, are called to go in and, and check on a home there's um they like to maybe have backup if there's kids etc involved they want some backup and this is providing a simple way for them to call in backup the agencies that possibly should be you know involved will be involved and uh it's, it's, a, it's a way to help support our police and, and support our community in trying to get help to those that need help and then, uh, well, probably before our council meeting is the 14th Annual Matsu Emergency Preparedness Expo, which is the 24th on Saturday over in Wasilla. And then, of course, there's a chamber meeting, I think, on Wednesday the 28th. And that's basically my report. And then further down in the agenda, we have public hearings. We have a few public hearings. So there's ordinance number 22-007. Amending the City of Palmer Code residential real property exemption to increase assessed value um, going from $68,000 to $125,000. I believe that's uh, the seniors and military exemptions. 
that we're matching, setting up to match uh, what the burrow has been doing um, so that it'll be kind of uniform across the way. And then there is authorized city manager to do an additive alternative two for the Atna construction of 88,000 for, I disagree with this title, but it's the official title that says install head bolt heaters. Really it's for installing electrical outlets for planes to use so that some of our um, apron tie downs will have uh, electric access, which will cost more. But that's where we're expanding. That's the that's the most efficient time to try to get any electric in there. And that'll be kind of a first for our airport. Then there's another resolution, 22-028, uh, amending the Palmer budget of $161,184 to loan the water sewer fund for additional city funding for the wastewater treatment plant phase two clarifiers projects. It's the project that never ends. Uh, basically upgrading our sewer plant so we can better handle things in a way that takes care of all of the waste products. And there's also a public hearing, a resolution 22-029, encouraging the state of Alaska to support the designation of Matsu Valley Planning for Transportation as the Metropolitan Planning Organization for the Matsu Borough Urbanized Area and allocate in a million dollars in state funding. Ah, there's money involved for the formation organization operation of the Matsu Valley Planning for Transportation. Essentially, that's where Matsu has been growing to the point that we're now considered a, I think they may actually call it an urban area, and that we have to have a different organization type to ask for funds from the state and the feds. So that's working with the state to set that up. Then we have action memorandum. Uh, there's 22-054, authorizing utility connection for Quantum Laundry Lounge. We had that before its last council meeting and had a few questions, so we postponed it to this meeting. Um, that's a place that's just out on the Springer system, wanting to be joined up with our uh, water sewer system. And there's 22-055, uh, authorized city manager to execute a contract with Cree Lighting and Hardy Sales, basically putting in some LED um, street luminaries and replacement drivers for existing street lights, trying to convert to LED to be more cost efficient. And there's another memorandum number 56 authorizing utility connections for the Matsu Performing Arts Center located out on Outer Springer. And authorizing the city manager to execute a contract with Eagle View Excavation uh, for hauling snow for $90 an hour. And that's our action memorandum. That's essentially what we have for our Palmer, our regular city council meeting for October 27th, 2022. It's on a Tuesday at 6 p.m. So this has been Steve Carrington, Palmer Mayor, taking you five days into the future. And don't forget to vote. Yeah, some termination dust on the mountain. All right, here is Palmer City Hall newly painted wall here.